the government bc government ministry of health service and the ministry of uh, sports and living ministry of sports ministry of health sports and living the city council of vancouver the vancouver coastal health service they have no place in a democracy. I'm repeating this statement. I'm standing here at the George Person Centre. The city of Vancouver, the Ministry of Health Service, and the Ministry of Health Sports Service have no place in a democracy. Why am I saying this? People who live here, as you can see, George Person Center, those are citizens of this country who are suffering in physical and perhaps mental disabilities. Physical and perhaps mental disabilities. What is George Person Center? George Person Center is situated at 757 West 57 few blocks away from uh, the city of Vancouver or from West Broadway. This was a place for the government constructed this place as a dumping place for people with the TB and the polio. In fact, that after the decline, after the closure of what you call today uh, the Mapole and the Aloko facilities, most of the, the victims, the, uh, the patients, were transferred into what you call George Person. George Person Center became the government transferred in 1960s as a place for uh, people with the physical and the perhaps mental disabilities. But what is the life for people who live in this, this place? Today I have brought you here at this place to show you the life to talk about the imprisonment, mental and the physical imprisonment of people with the physical disabilities and the suffering, struggle, lack of hope, uh, and the, even the torture, violation of the rights of people with the disabilities is the reason why I am here today. Most of the victims who live here, they have no access to affordable housing. They have no access to affordable wheelchair. They have no access to any medical services on their own. This means that any person here is restricted, everything is restricted by the medical practitioners, doctors, uh, health care workers, and nurses. People at George Person Center. They claim that there is no rights to own or to use a wheelchair as you will, as you, as you like. The nurses and medical services practitioners, they ask you, they can ask you whether you feel you like the wheelchair. And if you say either yes or no, or I am tired, then that is the end. You have, they just kick you out or you're going to be in the wheelchair the entire night. Vision in Vancouver, as you feel that life is very, very important for you, as you feel that human rights is fundamental rights for you to protect your lives, it is the same way no one has more rights than another. There is no difference between being a mayor and being a person with a disability. People who, lived, who are living here today, they use it to own good cars, they use it to save money, they use it to own properties, but because of the uh, accident which is unavoidable, that's why they are here today. As a concerned citizen, as a concerned citizen, that's why I decided that there must be action, should be immediate action should be taken to remove people from George Person Center, because George Person Center is a place where violation of human rights 
a place that's where people are mentally imprisoned and physically imprisoned. Now, this is, I'm um, standing here, as I said, my name is Yasin, uh, human rights consultant in Vancouver, Obutu Human Rights International. Youth Human Rights International, uh, right now we are standing at the JF Strong Rehabilitation Center. Uh, it is situated at 4255 uh, Rory, Rory Street, uh, here just right across the um, <coughs> King Edwardi and the Kambi Street. Right now, I come from uh, at George, George Person Center, and when I was at George, George Person Center shooting my video, I was attacked by uh, a security officer, and uh, this security officer said that the George, George Person Center is not free accessible to any information services, and for that matter, I decided that uh, I should uh, just vacate George, George Person Center and then uh, coming here, to let you know the, the life, life struggle and the vision of uh, uh, people with physical disabilities. George Person, uh, George Person Center and the uh, JF Strong, they have uh, what you call a uh, uh, partnership. George Person Center and the uh, uh, JF Strong Rehabilitation Center, they have that partnership. Most of people here are trained and then a few weeks they sent to, they are coerced, they are intimidated, they are enforced to go to uh, what you call J, uh, JJ Person Center. So right now, uh, this is uh, JJ, I mean this is what you call JF Strong, and we are going to look at inside if we get any chance, because it is really a struggle, struggle to get access information, struggle to interview people with the, physical disabilities between uh, JJ, Person, JJ Person Center and the JF Strong. So right now, I want to go inside and see if it will be possible to talk to people with the physical disabilities. Uh, welcome to JJ Person Center. Uh, my name is Yasin Azizio, and uh, I work as a human rights consultant advocating uh, uh, people with the physical disabilities. The government should implement and commit to uh, what you call uh, true democracy, true democracy, human rights, and the specific, just specifically to consider the rights of the citizens, uh, free medical services, abundance, uh, freedom of speech, freedom of thought, uh, affordable housing, and the lives of all inclusiveness without discrimination. Thank you so much.